Hi boys and girls and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about this fabulous photograph of Playboy Playmate Barbara Moore. In fact, what we're going to discuss is utilizing a prop with a model if you find yourself on a location that doesn't have anything for the model to interact with or if you're just on a seamless in a studio. So stay tuned, I'll tell you how I put the photograph together, what was involved and why I made this prop for Barbara to interact with. <music> Well, welcome back. And how did I get this photograph? Well, let me tell you a little background first. Number one is there's a lot of locations in Los Angeles that become available for photographers or film people when a house or an apartment is in the process of being released. What I mean by that is that somebody has moved out, they're going to get a new tenant, and the place is empty. So what a lot of the people do is they lease that property out for a day to film people or photographers. Obviously, if it's film people, sometimes it might be more than a day. And some of us photographers get access to some of these great places in LA that normally would have people in them. And when people vacate them, they become available. In this particular case, this is a location that was up in Beverly Hills and uh, I was able to get the place for a day. So Barbara and I decided we would go and capitalize on this opportunity and go up there and shoot. Now, I've done this many times before and a lot of times I go to these locations and there's no furniture. So keeping that in mind, I thought to myself, well, maybe I should take some things with me for the model to interact with. In my particular case, what I did was I built this fabulous box for Barbara to interact with and what she did before the shoot was send me a photo, an image of the outfit and I was able to put together the color from the outfit to match the fluffy material that I put around the box. So this is how the box was put together and with the magic of video we can pop over to my other space in my studio and check the box out. Okay so here's the box and as you can see it's fairly big um, it's been covered in a black with this beautiful red color um, material on the top because we used it as another prop for another another shoot. And if I turn it around you can see it is a box. And the beauty of having a box like this is you can actually take this with you on location and you can put it in the vehicle and keep your stuff inside so you can use it as a box. And then when you're ready and it's empty, you use it as a prop. So what we're going to do is we're going to transform this back into the uh, fluffy material that uh, Barbara was using so you can see how it was uh, in the other material. But again, it's a simple box, uses a prop, just covered to make it look like something absolutely special to go along with your photo shoot if you end up in a space that's empty and you have nothing for the model to interact with. Okay, so we're back and here we have it recovered in the fluffy material, just like in the photograph with Barbara Moore. And again, you can see this is the box. We've got it all fixed on one side, all the way around to make it look like it's one continuous thing. And again, we've got this beautiful top that the model can uh, pose on and do the same kind of things that Barbara was doing. So the beauty of this is that you can cover it as many times as you like. In our particular case, we've covered it probably three times, but this is the one time when we used this particular fluffy material, which you can get from a fabric store. And the idea basically is you just have one piece that goes all the way around and then a piece on the top. I'm sure that you could figure out how to do this. I don't need to show you exactly how to cover a box. I think you can do that. But the main focus that we're talking about more than anything else is utilizing a prop with a model if you find yourself in a location where there's nothing to interact with the model or if you're on a seamless. Now keep in mind that uh, the reason I did this is because I've been to these houses before and realized that they're just white walls with your wooden floors and they don't have anything there so I usually take some chairs and some other things. In this particular case we matched this color perfectly with the outfit that Barbara was wearing and I think it worked out really fabulous as you can tell by the photographs. So that's the story behind how I put together this fabulous photograph and 
utilize the opportunity of working in a space in Los Angeles with fabulous Playboy playmate Barbara Moore. For those of you who want to know how I lit the images, basically Barbara is sitting on the box very close to a white wall. Uh, the room is being filled by daylight as you can see in the diagram coming from two different window areas so it's bouncing around in the room. I'm shooting directly with a main light source which is my ring light towards her and any shadow that is being produced on the white wall from her is being counted out by all the natural daylight that's bouncing around. Now my ISO is set to about 400 and my shutter speed is 60th of a second so any camera movement is cancelled out by the flash because it's freezing motion and of course working with Barbara she knows immediately when we're shooting the shots so she's dead on with exactly what uh, poses we're doing. So if you like that story you might want to pop over to my website andrefelixphoto.com and check out my blog. Got a lot of interesting information on there plus some great photographs that will help inspire you to go out there and create some of your own. I also have a PDF of a book called Tips and Tricks that I put together that's got a lot of diagrams in it and other information too plus great photographs that will help inspire you to go out and create something your own or you can just copy something right out of my book. Follow me on Instagram and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe. I'm always looking for subscribers. Always looking for subscribers. So subscribe and that will help inspire me to do more of these story behind the pictures. All I can say is thanks a lot and bye for now.